Alright, so I'm here with a game called The First Date. I think it's another game that was made for that Valentine's visual novel thing. I'm not sure. Well, I can't remember exactly. I downloaded a bunch of games on the same day for this month, so I can't remember exactly. Anyway, let's get into it. I squint my eyes as the young sun greets my face. Usually, I'd be bothered by this. I was never one of her mornings, but today is different. I feel like the sun is cheering me on. Telling me that I can do this. I thank you for your help, son. I'll certainly need it. Need help with what? Well, let's just say today's the day I take the biggest risk of my life. Okay, maybe that isn't all the impre that impressive coming from a guy in high school. I'm sure I haven't risked as much as others. Still, the importance of today cannot be understated. I do like the heart with the arrow going through it in the bottom right. I've been waiting years for this day. Oh, the, I didn't even notice the arrow goes back out. Seriously, I've lost count. So many times have I considered acting on these feelings, but every time I stopped. What is the H.I. for anyway? I hesitated. I got scared. I'm still young. All this stress isn't good for my heart, you know? But no more. I refuse to back down. Today is the day. Yes, I'm saying this just so I don't back down. But hey, it works. I need all the help I can get. I'll look up at the morning sun and give it a thumbs up. I'm glad I can count on you. I hear chirping of some kind. At first, it's quiet, but the noise picks up as I walk by a tree. A small bird and what seems to be its even smaller children are singing a pleasant song on the tree's branch. So even these birds are on my side. Thanks, I appreciate. Oh no, suddenly the world goes black. I can't see a thing. What happened to me? I don't know. I was looking up at the birds when I felt a sharp pain in my head. It still hurts a lot. That's it. I must have walked into something when I wasn't looking. That's not good. That is not how you wanted to start the day. Wait. Wait, what's my name? Oh my god, this is not happening. I cannot get amnesia today. I just can't. What's my name? Just take your time, me. Just think. 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 Think harder, me. What is your name? T. Ah, uh, that is it. I'm T. Like I'd ever forget my own name. Haha, uh, you try to stop me, birds. I curse them in their existence violently. I'll have you know nothing can stop me today. Today I will finally... Oh? Finally what, T? I like the font and the... For the names. Ah. Uh -huh. I jump back. Rin, what are you doing here? What do you mean? We always meet here. Did you get enough sleep last night? Ah, uh, probably not. Are you okay? No? Why, of course I am, my dear. Uh, now I am? What's that supposed to mean? Eh, don't worry about it. I can't help but feel I'm coming on too strong. Oh, nothing. Do you really think I'll accept that? Probably not. No. Hmm. How much longer is this going to continue? You ready to head to school, Rin? I don't want to be late. Not until you tell me what you meant. How do I get out of this? Why did I say something so stupid? Curse my decision making. How about I tell you after school today? Promise? Yeah. Alright. After this very eventful interruption, I begin walking to school again. This time with Rin by my side, as it seems she always is. Ask her out. Rin has a very peculiar way she walks at times. For whatever reason, I've been too scared to ask her really. Rin tends to walk with her hands in her pockets. Do skirts have pockets? I don't know. I'd, I've never been one to wear a skirt, so I can't say. However, she only does at certain times. Those times are when she's alone with me. Huh. 
I can't say it's an as ladylike walk one could have, and it'll kill me for saying that, but it's grown on me a lot over the years. Why would she put her hands in her pockets just when she's with you? It's like a special side of her that only I get to see. Like we have some kind of connection. A connection that only we share. I know I'm making a big deal out of nothing. People have all sorts of weird habits they do for no good reason, but I like to believe Rin does it around me because she feels comfortable. I guess she should be. We've known each other since, well, forever really. Look, T, I guess he's out for a walk again today. Rin runs ahead of me. Looks like it. Lately, as we head to school together in the morning, we've been running into this nice old lady and her beautiful white husky on their morning walk. I've never considered myself one for dogs, but even I need to admit that the dog is stunning. Rin could care less about talking to the old lady, who just waves kindly to her, but she is completely infatuated with the dog. I kind of get the feeling, though. Good boy. I slowly scratch the dog under his chin. I used to have a husky and they were pretty cool dogs. I wouldn't mind having one again. We'll see you soon, right? I like having bigger dogs like that than the smaller ones. The dog looks out of the bark, seemingly answering my question. I really want a dog. Rin huffs a little. Have you tried convincing your parents lately? Probably not. They said I could when I proved that I'm responsible enough to care for one. No progress then? None. They're impossible to impress. How would you show you're responsible enough to care for a dog if you don't have a dog to care for? I don't know. For as long as I've known Rin, she's always wanted a dog, and I've known Rin for a long time. Forever wasn't an understatement. Our families are the kind that go way back with each other. My grandparents were friends with her grandparents. Heck, her great-grandparents probably knew each other. Oh, great. This long-time friendship between our families, along with both her parents and mine having kids at the same time, led to us knowing each other since we were born. Although Ren is slightly older than me, as she reminds me almost daily. I couldn't even tell you a single detail about the day I met her. That's how long we've known each other. Over those years, we've remained close. Of course, as we got older, our relationship changed. We couldn't exactly hang all over each other. Ren seemed to often forget that part, or take baths together like we used to. Yeah, you can't do that. Our parents will never live that one down, even though they're the ones who made it happen. There are many reasons we avoid that activity now. Yeah, I wonder why. But despite it all, our friendship itself has never changed. I feel as close to her as I've ever felt. It's the type of closeness you feel from family. Oh. Crap. What? I think I skipped something. Uh, I've known her for so long that I feel a sense of familiarity. I feel safe with her, you could say. It's a feeling I've come to love. I hope it won't be late. Uh, we might be. I think we're fine. As I'm sure is quite obvious, the sense of familiarity isn't the only thing I've come to love over the years. I love Rin. I've loved her since I knew what that word meant. If I had realized it, I'm sure I'd have loved her even before then. It's always comical that I fell in love with her. It's such a cliché, everyone in our family has joked about this for years. It was always, when will you two get together, or have you two kissed yet? Some more eccentric members of our family actually have money on how long it will take us. Oh jeez. Our families aren't shy about what they think. I feel like many people in my situation may try to rebel against that. They may not want to do what their families want. The heart wants what the heart wants. They may feel like their life is being decided for them. But none of those things are true. Like I said, the heart wants what the heart wants. I don't feel this way because I'm told to. I don't love her because I feel trapped by expectations. I love her because I love her. She's always been by my side. No matter what I was going through, she would always be there, either with her gentle smile or her scolding crown. 
she helped me through everything. I don't love her because somebody else decided I did. I love her because she's Rin. Rin, my precious irreplaceable friend. Looks like we've made it after all. I told you we would. Yes, yes, because you've never been wrong before. Of course not, I'm always right. Would you quit it? It was one time. I don't admit it. We didn't get here until lunch. Jesus, it's late in the day. It's halfway through. I just went the wrong way a few times. How do you go the wrong way if you walk it every day? We were on the other side of town. Maybe I just wanted to spend more time with you. Ever think of that? I didn't say I hated it, you know. It was fun. We should get lost more often. Then we'd get suspended. I guess that's true. Eh, who needs school? Don't take that seriously. Go to school, kids. Ren laughs and runs ahead of me towards the school gates. She can be a real pain. Still, I love that part about her, too. I won't be scared anymore. I'll not allow myself to be afraid, or more accurately, I'll suppress it the best I can. Courage is in the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. I think I've heard something along those lines before. Today's the day I take these words to heart. I wonder, will you return my feelings, Rim? Maybe. How, I, how will I react if you do? How will I react if you don't? I wish I knew. I take a deep breath and follow Rin inside. Finally, class is over. This day felt like years. That was, in part, because today's lessons were just review work, so I already knew everything. But who am I kidding? I know why today felt like an eternity. I couldn't get Rin out of my head. It's a good thing we didn't learn anything new today. I would fall behind for sure. I sigh as I walk down the hall. I haven't seen Ren since we got to school. Ren. We usually had lunch, but I told her I was going to be busy today. She didn't buy it. I never had plans for lunch, so I don't blame her. Still, she accepted it, probably seeing that I'm acting off today. If all goes well, I'll be back to normal shortly. Hopefully much better than normal. Rin should be waiting for me at the school gate like she always does. That should be a fine place to talk to her. Maybe we'll start walking home first. I'd rather not draw so much attention to us that would just make this even harder. Sorry for the pause there. My phone's like, uh, a voice commanding picked up. Yes, I'm still going to do it. Why do my inner thoughts feel so pessimistic today? It doesn't matter. I find myself circling the hallway a few times more to prolong the inevitable. I swear I wasn't doing it. It was more like my legs decided it on their own. Like they won't listen to me anymore. How do I solve this problem? Uh, just go for it, I guess. I don't know. Continue walking till I tire myself out. Sweet talk my legs to listen or show my legs who's boss. I don't know who you think you are, legs, but this is my body. They speed up. Good. Good legs. <laughs> Do you really want to fight me? Kinda. It'd be fun. Oh geez, sorry. They don't stop. Fine then. I throw my arms down and attempt to stop my legs. They jump over it. I could never be that athletic if I tried. They really do have a mind of their own. Ignoring the worried looks of strange onlookers, I try again. This time I trip. This time I trip and fall face first on the clean floors, sliding a few inches. Oh, good. What better way to make a good impression? Despite what the bruises might tell you, this was actually a success. Yeah, I don't know. I was back in control again. Thoroughly exhausted, I make my way outside. I've played the conversation over and over in my head hundreds of times today. Rin, I have something I need to talk to you about, I'll say. She'll likely respond with, sure, I'm always here if you need to talk, or something along those lines. Make things even more difficult. I like the sky in the background. Then I'll say, I'm sure this isn't a surprise, but I love you. Or something like that. I can see a few different responses coming from her. 
Either she'll get extremely embarrassed and run away, say I'm being too forward, or outright reject me. I'm scared to find out which one of those it will be. I can't shake the feeling that I could be making a big mistake. I know that no matter what happens today, our relationship will never be the same. Either we'll be a happy couple, or I'll lose my best friend. Even if she's okay with staying friends, I don't think I could handle it. They say don't put all your eggs in one basket. Generally, I agree with that expression. Having a backup plan is preferred, not for love. This is different, though. I have no other options. It's only Ren or nobody. That's a sad choice, I guess. I know I'm being dramatic. Even if Ren rejects me, I'll likely be happy with someone else someday. I'm sure some timeline exists where that's exactly what happens. And there's timelines that exist where you get with no one, ever. But I don't want that. That's not the timeline I want to live in. I want to be in the one where my best friend feels the same way I do. I turn the next corner and find myself approaching the gate. Something's odd. Rin wasn't there. She's rarely ever late. Like me, she doesn't really participate in any clubs or after school activities. She's usually waiting right here for me. I wonder if I already scared her off. Maybe she knew what I was going to say and decided to leave. This is her way of rejecting me and still being considerate, isn't it? That's cruel. Way too cruel. What's cruel? Ah! I jumped back again. You've got to stop doing that. It's not my fault you're so jumpy today. It's exactly your fault. You hit the nail on the head. I guess I am a little on edge. Ready to tell me what's up with you? Can we start walking first? No. Oh great. No. I want you to tell me now. Why? Because I don't want you to find another excuse not to. I swallow my saliva involuntarily. My mouth starts to get dry. She knows as well if we'd find another excuse. Why is she being so insistent? She probably knows. It's like she can read my mind. Like she knows I'm having second thoughts. Yet she won't let me run away. What's wrong with me wanting to preserve the life we had? You really are cruel. I'm really not. <laughs> can you at least follow me? Let's go under a tree or something. I might as well point somewhere with fewer people. That's fine. I look around and later towards a decent sized tree in the courtyard. I don't turn back the entire time. I can't bring myself to look at her. I wonder what kind of expression she has. Uh, looks just like a neutral one to me. I awkwardly walk around the tree to a spot covered with shade. We're alone, for the most part. Besides the occasional student pe running past us to leave the school. What do they think when they see us, I wonder. Want to sit? No. Alright, got it. Um... I'm listening. That you are. I can certainly see you listening. Um... I... What's happening? Why the music cut? I guess this is it. It's now or never. How do I tell her? Uh, are we going to make a choice? Try to be smooth, be honest with her, play it off like a joke? Just say it. Be honest with her. Rin. Yes? I need you to listen really well. I thought we established that I'm listening already. We did, but I mean it. Please. I don't know if I'll be able to say this more than once. So I need you to listen to me. Okay. Rin. Yes. I've known you for a long time. That we have. You have. We've always been together, haven't we? That we have. Yes. You've always been my closest friend. You're probably your only friend. So have you. You were always there for me whenever I needed an ear to talk to. Just like now. Whenever I needed advice. Whenever I just wanted a friend to have fun with, you were always right there by my side. So were you. I've been around you for so long, it's hard for me to imagine my life without you. When I'm around you, everything just feels right. I can't explain it. You don't have to. And the reason I've been weird today is that I'm scared. I'm scared of losing what we have. I'm scared of losing you. You won't have to. Still, Ren, I need to tell you how I feel. Ren... Yes, I love you. 
I've loved you for years. I loved you for as long as I can remember. Even if we can't stay friends anymore. Even if we will lose what we have. Even if you never talk to me again. Even if I lose you forever, I need you to know that. I love you, Rin. With all my heart. I didn't expect all of that. Was it too much? No, it was perfect. I love you too, T. Really. I've been waiting for you to tell me that. I should have said it sooner then. No, I think you did just fine. It was everything I hoped for. Silence. What am I supposed to do now? I hadn't thought this far ahead. My brain kept replaying the part where she rejected me over and over again. I didn't think this through. What do I do? No, pull yourself together, T. It's all good. Everything's fine. This is going better than planned. Is it? Hey, Rin. Rin jumps back. One second here. Ooh. Guess I'm contagious, huh? You just surprised me a bit. We have to get used to this. I don't know if I will. Me neither. Anyway, we just revealed our deepest desires to each other. I imagine it takes some time to recover from that. You're probably right. Don't worry, Rin. Our relationship will be better than ever if it was before now. If it... Jesus. Don't worry, Rin. Our relationship will be better than it ever was before from now on. I thought I was having a stroke. I believe you. How can I allow myself to be scared when I see a smile like that? We should head back now. I've said everything I needed to say. What about you? Rin nods happily. Let's go, Rin. When's the date? We both leave school together. Neither of us says a word nor look at each other, but I have a feeling we've never felt happier. After what felt like an eternity, we made it to Rin's house. I don't even remember the last time I walked her home. We live fairly close together, but coming here would be out of the way for me, so we usually meet at that same crossroad. This time, however, I felt like I had to. Now, as I'm standing there, I don't really know what to do, or what to say. See you tomorrow? That wouldn't work. So, can I come in? No, 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 no. Stop right there, Brain. To be honest, it wouldn't seem weird at all to her family if I did walk in, but no, Brain, no. What is right to say here? I wish I knew. So, what now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what couples do. We are a couple now, right? Rin just nods. That's what I thought. We could hold hands. And go where? We should have done that on the way back. Ah, she's right. Hmm. We could kiss. No. That is kind of jumping. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know what couples do. I don't either. They go on a date. I can't tell if this is going well or not. I need to think of something fast. What do couples do? I'm smart. I can think of something here. Can't I? They kiss. Sure enough, they hold hands. I told you, we'll look stupid just standing here. I don't care. Well, I do. She's a tough one to crack. Couples go on dates together, don't they? Yeah. That could be fun, don't you think? I think so. There's that smile I love so much. Man, my inner thoughts sure are perverted today. I think it would be a great idea. Our first date is a couple. It sounds like a great time. Where should we go? I don't know. Have any ideas? Not really. Well, that's helpful. Indeed it is. Isn't it your job to plan these things? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a collaborative effort. I want you to pick something. Do I have to? Yes. Yes, you do. Is this how it's going to be when we're married? If you're married. Whatever you say. Okay. A date. It was my idea, so I need to think of somewhere to go. Put my money where my mouth is, and all that. How hard could that be? Dates are such a common thing. Everybody does them. It's as normal as breathing for some people. I haven't failed at that just yet. Yet. Surely I can think of a good date. Usually when you fail at that, you're dead. We'll have a date. Uh, 
at the park, at the beach, at my house. I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. I'm gonna save it here, I guess, and end this part. So anyway, goodbye for now.